Okay, first day in the new job, let's get myself all ready to go over to Roots Hall to meet the squad, meet the staff, meet everybody, get to know the club. And so, let's see. Wallet, got that. Empty, falling apart, blooming useless. But let's hope that's not too much like what Southend's finances are like. And uh, phone, got me phone. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Just before I go, I've got a text. I've got a text. Ask oh, from Stan. It's from Stan the man. Yep, well, good luck, he says. I'm gonna need it. And so, let's go and get into it and let's meet the South End squad in episode one of Rerouting South End. <laughs> Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, TaylorMade Gaming. And oh my gosh, am I excited for today's video. Because as you can see on the screen, we are finally getting started with Southend United on my main save for the FM22 game cycle. Hopefully we can undo most, if not all, of the damage that has been done to Southend over the last few years. Hopefully we can get them back up the footballing pyramid. And so, again, as you can see, I've got a two-year deal on £1,100 a week, which I would take all day long. Oh my gosh, that would be a nice bit of money. But anyway, there you go, two-year deal. So I've got a I've got time to try and undo at least the start of the damage. And so, you can see, media prediction, 15th, assistant manager Darren Curry. Roots Hall is our stadium, 12,163 capacity. Average training in youth facilities, adequate youth recruitment. We've got a wage budget of 28 grand a week, no transfer budget. And finances are okay, but just a little quick note, if you are playing as Southend yourself, you'll notice in a minute that finances are different to what we usually have in the game. That's because I've been doing some digging, I've been doing some research, and yeah, the finances in FM I don't think are correct, so I've updated them, I've made it a lot more difficult for myself than what it would be in the base game, so we'll get into that in a second. Media prediction of 15th in the league, we're entering the FA Cup at the fourth qualifying round, and the FA Trophy at the first round. FA Trophy? Might be something I try and aim to win. I think we're... Probably one of the bigger teams in the FA Trophy. I don't know too much about the FA Trophy, to be honest. But I'm thinking we might have a shot at winning that. And so, here we are. This is the chairman's best 11. I know nothing about the Southend squad. The last time I kept up to date with Southend with any regularity, uh, Freddie Eastwood, was that his name? He was playing for Southend up top and he was quite decent. So I do think that was a few years ago now. But you can see here, Arnold in goal, Ralph, Coulson, White, Demetriou, Ogogo. Is that Anthony Ogogo? Not, not Anthony Ogogo, he's a boxer. Abume Ogogo, never heard of him. Atkinson, Ferguson, Bridge, uh, Nathaniel, Nathaniel George, and Murphy up top. So I've got to learn about all these players, as I'm sure most of you guys do as well. And now, the club vision. Uh, they want to build a new stadium. Apparently, from my research, they've been saying that for about 20 years. So, yeah, who knows if that will actually happen. We've got to absolutely work within the wage budget. Again, you'll see why in a second. As for performance on the pitch, we've got to reach the playoff as a minimum. That should be doable. I know we predicted 15th, but... We're South End. We've only just come down. I know we're struggling in real life, but I do think I can get this team into the playoffs. FA Cup, they want just the first round, but again, I'll be aiming for the third round, try and get that dollar, dollar, dollar bills. 
you know, all that good stuff. And then FA Trophy is not important. And then if we don't get promoted this season, the club want us to get automatically promoted next season. So, yeah, that's our challenge for the first two years of this save. We are going to schedule a press conference and we're going to have a monthly meeting with the backroom staff and we'll have an intra-squad friendly. I won't show that today. I'm going to try and get through, I don't know, no, I think I'm just going to have a look at the squad today, have a look at everything that's going on in the club, and then we'll have our first proper league game in the next episode, which should be out on Friday, if everything goes to plan. And so, that is all of that good stuff done. Let's go and get into this and meet the squad. So, here we are in our inbox. First few emails... South End players in last year a contract. Let's have a look at that. Uh, Blumenek. Uh, how many? The passing on advanced warning that the contract of 41 South End players uh, are due to expire in the next 12 months. <sighs> That's a lot of uh, negotiating I'm going to have to do. Apparently, a few of these do have extension clauses, though. So, that's something that's going to help us out. Christ, look. That's got to be pretty much everyone on the books. If that's the same as what it is in real life, please do let me know down below if you are a South End fan and you have any knowledge. Christ. I think that's the most I've ever had on day one in a new club. And club vision and expectations, we've just been through that. We'll accept that. Pre-season pre -season preparation. Let's go for heavy. I'd like to get players fit and ready, ready to go for a new season. Most people might not like that, but that's what I'm going for. South end injury update. We've got one guy, Tom Clifford, who's out for six months. Is he any good? Uh, he's a left. He's a left back. Decent crossing for this level. I do like a full back that can cross. He's apparently not our first choice, but he, he is our second choice. So that might be a little bit worrying. We are going to go into the squad. You know what? We'll get into the squad now, and then we'll get into the finances. So let's do this by position. So we have got two goalkeepers. We've got Steve Arnold and Harry Seedon. Arnold must be the number one, being the more experienced keeper. Where has he played before? Steve Arnold, he's been all over the shop. Gillingham, Northampton, Stevenage, Norwich he started at, Ball and Wood he's been at. So he's played 209 games in the league, so he's got a good amount of experience. And let's have a look at his attributes. 12 reflexes, 17 determination. I do like that. Command of area, 11 and 14. And so we're not going to go through everyone. We're just going to go through some of, them, some of the bigger players so this video doesn't go on for blooming an hour or whatever. But Harry Seedon, he's got decent potential. Three and a half star. Three, yeah, three and a half star, maybe four star, maybe four and a half. And so he's got decent acceleration, decent pace. Decisions, not the best, but he's still got time to improve. Communication of 12. And so let's do this by transfer value. Our most valuable player is apparently Sean Hobson, a central defender. And he is 23 years old. He's six foot and... He, because he's English, I can see why he's our most valuable player. Because, of course, even down at this level, I think there is an English tax. So, heading of 13. I do like that. I might want to improve on that a little bit. I do like defenders that can just get up and head the ball away and be a threat at corner, peak, corner kicks and free kicks and all of that sort of good stuff. He's brave. I like that. Positioning's a little bit on the poor side. But, yeah, I think we are going to be using him. He's one of the few players whose contracts aren't up at the end of this season. So that is a good thing. After him, we've got Tom Clifford. 
He's the guy we've just looked at who is out for the next six months. Sam Dolby up front, 21 years old, 110k to 230k. He's six foot four. I do like a nice big target man up front. Jumping reach of 14, strength of 12, finishing of 11. Uh, we've got him. Have we got him on loan from Watford? No, uh, no, we've just signed him on a freebie deal. He scored one goal at this level last season. Would have wanted someone who's maybe done a little bit better than that. Uh, Nathan Ralph, have we just looked at him? Uh, not, no, he's our first choice left back. Acceleration, agility, both okay. Jumping reach is pretty good for a full back. How's his heading? 12? He's 5 foot 9. If he had a few more inches, he'd be a centre back. But as it is, he's 28 years old. Oh. If if Tom Clifford was fit, I'd be trying to cast in on this guy, I think. Because he's decent, but he's not going to get any better. And I do, I do worry there's going to be other areas of the squad where we could do with improving more than at fullback if Clifford was fit. And so Harry Seedon, we've looked at him. Matthew Dennis, who's he on loan from? He's on loan from Arsenal. No way. Uh, no, he's on loan from Norwich, but he did start at Arsenal. And so Matthew Dennis, 19 years old, looks okay. Okay, yes. Decent acceleration, decent pace. Again, I'm going to be working on that crossing. I do like how he can play in quite a few different areas. So that is probably where where I'm going to be using him most as a, uh, what's the word, a versatile player who can play all over the pitch. And so any others we want to have a look at right now, don't think so. So you know what, let's go and show you guys the finances and how I've set this up to be even more difficult for myself. So here we are. We've got an overall balance of £297,000, which at this level, you might think is okay. But you can see as well, we're already over our wage budget. We're over it by about a grand and a half, if not almost two grand. So that needs to be chopped down by some way, hook or by crook. And you can see up here, no transfer budget, which again is going to be difficult. 30% of the transfer revenue is made available until we've generated 6 million. And then, and then that goes down to 10%. Can someone explain how that works? Because surely if we generated that much, the transfer revenue would go up. Okay, that's weird. But anyway, here we go. Projection. This is where it's most different to the base game because in the base game in the vanilla database you will see that after three seasons we're supposed to have 10 million in the bank but i've spoken again to a few south end fans and they tell me that is cobblers that is never ever ever gonna happen not with the current chairman the current finances all of that good stuff this is a bit more like how it's apparently supposed to look if the club carries on as it is. So, yeah. And you can see here how our turnover is only a couple of million, but our expenditure is over three and a half million for every year so far. So, I do think this is a more realistic look at the finances. Hopefully, all you South End fans who know a thing or two will agree with me. And so, what shall we have a look at next? I think we have a look at the comparison with the rest of the league. Here we are on the squad comparison screen, and you can see that as far as all positions go, we're looking alright. We're looking a bit better than what I was expecting. We've got decent decisions, mid-table for that. First touch, fourth in the league. Very happy with that. Passing, fourth. Strength, 
We're seventh. Work rate, we're third best in the league. Very happy with that. Teamwork, we're fourth. It's only down here. Leadership and aggression. I know I said in the intro video that I wanted to reduce the squad size because we have got an average age of 26. Kind of want to bring that down a little bit, but I do want to find players that have got good leadership because we're going to need that if we're going to have a tough season this year. So that's definitely the first thing I'm thinking of looking at to improve. And now let's go and have a look at goalkeepers and see how they rank against the rest of the league. And so, you can see, we've got decent aerial reach, decent command of area, second best for command of area in the league, second best for throwing. So, we can catch the ball, we can shout at people, and we can throw the ball away again. But other than that, not brilliant. Oh, I fear. I'm starting to fear for this season, people. Oh, my gosh. Well, next up, defence. And, wow. We can't jump. We can't head. Uh, we, we, we can't really mark. We're not very good with positioning. We're okay with strength. We're mid-table for that. But pace and acceleration, oh, my gosh. Oh, the squad. I'm starting to realise what's been going on. Oh, my days. Midfield now. Our midfielders can't pass. Can't do long shots. They're blind. They've all got to go to blooming spec savers. Uh, they've got okay stamina. Sixth best in the league for that. They've got decent teamwork. So they're going to work hard. And they've got, and they're going to run around all day. But they're going to run around not really knowing what they're doing. Oh my gosh. And now up front, we've got decent finishing. We've got decent finishing. Fifth in the league. We've got poor long shots again. Again, can't head the ball. Can't jump. Well, eighth best for jumping. Still not brilliant. Uh... Anticipation, 11th. We're rubbish off the ball. We've got no pace. And we've got average acceleration. <sighs> Wowzers. Physical. Physicals now. Acceleration. Agility. Balance. Jumping reach. Uh, fitness. We're good with fitness. Okay, so physically, we're okay it's acceleration. We're just about average. Agility, we're very good. We've got the third best agility. Balance, we're decent. F natural fitness, we're, again, quite high. Pace, poor, I'd say. Stamina is okay. And, again, strength is seventh. Mentals now. We've got decent anticipation. Second best in the league. Bravery, fifth best. Determination, we're the third most determined squad. I'm happy with that. Flair, fifth best. Happy with that as well. Uh, teamwork, we already know we're pretty good at that. And work rate, we're good with that. But positioning, we're poor. We've got no leadership and we're not very aggressive. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so worrying about this season. I think it's going to be a long first season, guys. But as for technicals, is there anywhere where we really stand out? Finishing, we've already known that. Passing and penalties. So if we get lots of penalties, we'll get lots of goals. That is the hope. And so, is there anything else we've got to look at for today? Let's have a look at the old dynamics. Oh, team cohesion, very poor. Club atmosphere, very poor. Managerial support is decent. Well, that's one good thing. Wowzers. Okay, so let's go back to the squad and let's have a look at contracts. Because I know I said I was going to put a wage cap in of a £1,000 a week 
And so that would mean that everyone from Jason Demetriou up to Reese Murphy, they all need to get their contracts either lowered or they need to leave the club. So, yeah, that's something I'm going to try and do off camera. I don't think there's too much else to be looking at. Let's have a look, actually, at the league table. Let's have a look at the season preview. And so, you can see here, the media are predicting us to be 7th in the league. I'm sure it said 15th on the other screen. I'll take 7th. If they're, pre if they're predicting 7th, now I've walked in the club, I will very much take that. And so, Stockport are predicted to win the league. Wrexham, Ryan Reynolds, Wrexham are predicted 2nd. Where are Kings Lynn, my old team? Kings Lynn are predicted to finish 15th. That's definitely going to be at least one or two videos this season. Me against my old hometown, Kings Lynn. And in real life news, they've just sacked Ian Culverhouse in real life. So, yeah, I put a tweet out asking if they was taking FM CVs, seeing as how I got them to League One on FM 19. Not heard anything back, which is a little bit disappointing. But, oh well. And so, I do think that is everything for today. If you're looking forward to the rest of this series, please give me a massive thumbs up down below. It really does help on episode ones of a new series. So, please, please, please do help me out with that. Subscribe to the channel for more content, loads more South End stuff coming over the next year or so. So yeah, ping that subscribe button, hit that bell so you get notified whenever a new video does come out. And follow me on Twitter at TaylorMGaming. And as well, if you've got this far, let me know down below of any youth players that you are aware of that are good, that I should be signing, or any just any players in particular. So, yep, thank you all so very much for watching. I shall see you next time.